What's going on, everybody? Um, a Mecca coming at you here. Nice to meet you. If you're brand new, please hit that subscribe button, turn bell notifications on. Um, if you want to learn three things, how to increase your income so you can take back your freedom so you can design your ultimate lifestyle. Um, this is going to be a lower energy weekly update. Having a food intake problem. Need to fucking fix that because it's really starting to piss me off. Basically, I had to fire my food company that was delivering meals every day because it just, holy crap, they just kept sucking. After months of being mediocre, they just finally just became horrible. And we haven't been able to replace it yet just because of life being busy and, and, and uh, you know, fucking Mexico. So, mm, yeah. So it's been a bit of a struggle because I've noticed mm, from not eating, like I got so used to eating every two, three hours. Like, so if I'm like at four hours and I haven't had like a proper meal, my energy just crashes. So waiting for the wife to bring me some freaking food. So anyways, um, enough about me. Let's talk about you. How are you doing? And how's your publishing, how's your lifestyle, how's your replacing your job, how is all that coming along? I want to know, drop me a comment and let me know. Um, it's been an interesting week and, um, you know, oh, okay, let's talk publishing first. We'll start off with publishing and then I want to talk to you about the power of an audience made four grand in like 24 hours. Um, so power of, or no, publishing. So there was a book, two books we tried to publish up on ACX back in September um, for the um, 10K to Bali contest, Bali bound, hashtag Bali bound. Um, so we got them and then we paid the narrator and then ACX rejected them because of some issue with the, with the noise and the narrator fixed them apparently. And then ACX is like, no, he just sent us the same files. And so, you know, we were going back and forth and then they stopped replying to us. We're like, what? And so I disputed on PayPal and he was being a dick about it and didn't want to give me my money back. So I got ACX involved and then long story short, basically ACX ended up terminating his account and PayPal gave me my money back. Now we're getting George from Gutenberg Reloaded to fix the files. So we should be able to get those up and going in the next couple of weeks. But it's like bloody hell. ACX already takes like 10 years to get your books up there. So just delays like this really just kind of um, ticked me off because one of the books in the niche is, or I can't remember if I said the name of the books. Oops. One of them, or they're in a related niche to my best selling book that's doing like a grand a month right now on ACX. And so we've been trying to get these up since September. It's like November now. And, um, you know, well, Bali. So got to get to Bali. Got to get to the Bali that I don't have to pay for. That's the whole, whole deal. So if you don't know about the Bali contest, comment below and you'll learn. Um, and then, yeah, so just dealing with that, um, you know, I just don't like hiccups in the business. Because, but you know what? It's just part of the business. And that's one of the things you have to learn is you're always going to run into little hiccups. Um, it's just It's just kind of... Sometimes that's how things go, um, but you learn from it and you move on and, um, you know, I guess really that's all you can say about it, right? So live and learn, so to speak. Um, other than that, with publishing, it's it's going good. I'm, I'm searching, we're searching, looking for a new writer for my main niche. Um... I don't know if I, I, I've talked about that. I don't know if I've updated you on it. I spoke to the girl who was going to be a writer and she's stepping down and she's now just going to manage the writer. And um, so we've, I've emailed the list. We got a couple responses back, kind of a weak response, but you know what? I'm sending it off to people who maybe just aren't writers. Um, so we just got to kind of the responses we got back. I don't know. So I just want to avoid Upwork and all of that because it's just not fun doing that. So I don't know. I'll talk to her and see if she has any other ideas on how to on looking at hiring somebody else. Um, but uh, it's not a top priority for me, as you can probably tell. 
but it is something to get done because I, I've been emailed a couple times from some of the readers. It's like, Hey, when's your next book coming out? You know, and, and things like that. So, um, they're in demand. I just got to get a writer for it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. Audience, power of the audience. This is relevant if you have, no matter what business you're in, right? Some, most of you are probably publishers, but if you're in like, if, you know, dogs, cats, um, if you're in, you know, the relationship niche, if you're in health and fitness, if you're in whatever, whatever niche it is, the power of an audience is one of the most powerful things you can, you, you can possibly have because you think about what an audience is, right? What an email list is, you know, what my YouTube channel is. Um, it's, it's essentially a bank machine and I want you to hear me out. And you know, this is one of the things, right? It's, it's remember, this is not a self publishing channel. This, that ain't, that ain't it. This is a, you know, make you more money channel. This is, you know, teaching you bigger picture stuff. So like, it's, it's no secret. You guys are my audience, you know, decent number of your clients. You pay me money. Um, you know, this is, this is, if you kind of take a step back of what I do and look at the bigger picture of what I'm actually doing, you can use that and you can actually apply that to any field you want to go into, you know, in, in anything, right. Um, you know, that's what I do when I kind of like look at people, I don't necessarily like look at what they're selling. Like Lewis house, for example, I signed up for his inner circle. I don't think I've watched any of his stuff and I keep paying for that damn subscription, but I sign up because I want to see how he communicate with his audience. You know, what type of email is he sending out? What's his landing page? What's his funnel like? So I spend money on stuff like that. So I can actually just take a look at the bigger picture of things. Not so much look at what they're, you know, what they're selling or promoting. Um, but the power of an audience, you know, it reminded me last week, I ran a sale. And within like, yeah, the first like 24 hours made $4,000, um, you know, from that sale. And, you know, well, what was I relating it to? There was something that I was like, it just, you know, and I've run sales before and got some good results, um, you know, but it was just, no, because I just like, I just thought of it like the day before, like that, that probably that morning and ran it like late at night. Right. And then boom, like four grand within 24 hours. That's the power of having an audience. That's why like when, when we say like, you know, collect emails for your books, you want to collect emails because you want to be able to reach out to those people to sell them more books. And like, you know, that's on the lowest level of like, you know, you're selling them like a $30 book, right? It's like the lowest level of things. Um, but that's where it all starts, right? That's where it all starts. And then you kind of just grow and evolve into something, something bigger. But, um, you know, it's just a powerful thing when you really start figuring things out and, and things start coming together and you, you see like, people struggling, you know, for money or they have money issues and, you know, um, they're stressed out or they're working the job they hate or whatever the case is. If you're just, if you're patient and you find something that you, you really love to do, right? Like, I think that's just so key. You have to find something you're really going to enjoy doing. Right. And if like, if you've been watching me for a while, what is it that I really enjoy doing? I want you to put that, like, what's, what's the one thing that really gets me going that I just, I love to do. And I probably do too much of it for free that I shouldn't be, 
but I just, it just, it makes me happy. What is it? Let me know in the comments. It'd be interesting to kind of, some of you who I pretty much talk to every day, you'll know, but um, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this, but um, you have to build up your business the right way. Whatever business you're going to build, build it up the right way and always, 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 always create an audience. Always. Because it's the most powerful tool you can have. Right? For me, YouTube. It is probably this video is is the most powerful tool or arguably the most powerful tool I have in my business. Right? Not counting my email list. Right? I can I can put a video up and and get X results. Or, you know, it's 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 just you know, it's we there's so many things that you can do now. Um, because of technology to grow your business that when I see people making excuses of why they can't make something work, it just makes me laugh because I'm like, it's no man, it's, it's you, it's you, you keep failing. It's not the course. It's not this or that. It's like you, you keep fucking up. You keep failing. This start taking responsibility for it. You know, like when I was poor with money, when I was bad with money, losing money and just, you know, not knowing, spending it and all of that, like it wasn't money's fault. Money didn't change. I changed. I got better with money. And, you know, my quote unquote relationship with money became better. Um, so it's just all about taking that personal responsibility, taking that personal responsibility, because once you, there's a quote from Hal Elrod, once you take personal responsibility in your life, or you accept personal responsibility in your life. You have the power to change anything in your life. Something like that. Um, but that is so true. That is so true. So, anyways. <sighs> told you it was going to be kind of all over the place today. So, sorry about that. Um, but I got a call with Ollie. And my lunch just pulled up. So, this is really good timing. Till next time, everybody. I'm Mecca. We'll speak to you all soon.